my opinion, I don't think the remand is going to impact the primary decision in the case which overturns Quill, which is the physical presence test. Obviously, with the remand, you start looking at whether or not some of the retroactivity aspects of this decision could be applicable, meaning can this case and can states begin to impose collections while the case is in remand? And then obviously, um, you know, states must decide when uh, they're going to become or states must decide when uh, they're going to make uh, their laws effective. Well, one, uh, they're going to be uh, fairly excited because it, it provides a revenue opportunity for them. Um, I, I would expect that states would begin to aggressively pursue the decision in Wayfair. Uh, in other words, those uh, remote sellers um, who are not currently collecting and don't have a physical presence but may meet this economic nexus standard uh, could begin to um, realize uh, exposure in those states almost immediately. I expect states to uh, begin to uh, pass legislation if they haven't already uh, to, uh, to, to um, follow the guidance that's been uh, stated in, in the Wayfair case. Uh, and then, of course, um, administrative regulations and rules should be released by departments of revenue across the country. No, the decision doesn't specifically tell states how far they can go, but it does lend it uh, some guidance. Of course, when you're in this arena, uh, states under the uh, Constitution uh, can't promulgate laws that would be unduly burdensome or discriminate against interstate commerce. Uh, in the South Dakota case, uh, they actually had a safe harbor provision that I'm sure many states will, will look to utilize. It, it was basically if you entered into $100,000 worth of transactions or more in a given state and you had 200 transactions or more in total, uh, then that is considered economic nexus or you could be subject to uh, collection within South Dakota. My guess is since that's been upheld, many states will look to uh, the nature of those guidelines when they create their statutes. Also, uh, South Dakota was a member of the streamlined states. And what that means is basically you have to have some uniformity and it has to be, you know, you have to meet the simplification requirements that this can't be an overly complex uh, uh, legislation or uh, criteria for, for remote sellers to begin to collect. So uh, what the court said basically is Congress really has the ability to regulate commerce. The Constitution gives them that authority. Um, and if there are gaps that need to be filled in, it's for Congress to do that. And I believe that's why they specifically were disciplined, kept focused just on what was directly in front of them and left it to Congress to address anything else. Well, the main thing is uh, effective dates. You know, when could they potentially have exposure in this arena? And then retroactivity, as we mentioned before, uh, you know, will states and at what point in time will states begin to require remote sellers to collect uh, simplification standards, administrative burdens, uh, whether or not they begin to try to impose the collection requirements for uh, local jurisdictions, parishes and counties, and how aggressively they may test the boundaries of this economic nexus standard. We at Ryan can help answer questions not only about taxability and compliance issues, but also these unanswered questions with the jurisdictions. We maintain relationships with every Department of Revenue, every Department of Taxation in the country. We know the commissioners, we know the directors, the secretaries of revenue, and um, we're uniquely positioned to go in on behalf of our clients and address the kind of questions that are not answered in the, in the court's opinion, particularly in the area if, if we have states that decide to attempt some sort of retroactive application of this ruling, I think we're in a really good position to help our clients uh, go in and, and deal with those questions as they come up. Um, easiest way to reach us is through ryan.com.